I've got three fantastic guests here in the studio with me. I don't even know where to start in all of this, but I'm going to start with the lady because Rifense Shinners, uh, the uh, Group Executive Corporate Affairs uh, Airports Company South Africa. That's a lot to put on your business card. <laughs> but as Airports Company South Africa, why is it that you decided to support uh, wheelchair tennis? How long have you been involved? Um, we have been involved in wheelchair tennis uh, for 11 years now, uh, so we've been in this partnership for that long. And the reason we decided to support wheelchair tennis is because it is aligned to our focus area of supporting disability. Mm. Um, we are in the business of moving people, uh, therefore it became a natural fit that we should empower uh, disabled people by giving them mobility so that they could be, uh, lead better lives. Holger, coach of uh, Lucas Satola as well as tournament director for the SA Open, what did you want these people who entered in their numbers uh, to try and win this prize, what did you want them to do? Well, we wanted them to stand out. Uh, through, through the shows like yours, we managed to get the people to enter. Uh, from that, they had to show up on site. That's a barrier one, a break in disability sport. So you to wanted them in the stands? We wanted the stands to get fuller, to, to show the great spectacle of wheelchair tennis. Mm. You also had a chance to play against uh, some of those stars, and I'm sure your legs felt it for a few days <laughs> after that. So it's not an easy game out there for the guys. It is proper tennis. Um, it is uh, just played with two bounces for the guys in the chair. And in terms of the turnout, in terms of the colorfulness, and, and was there a great response? It was a great response. Uh, we had a really good response on, on the competition, uh, on the SMS line. Then we had quite a good numbers showing up on the various days, and they needed to be visible mm. social media as well as in the stands. How big a prize is this? Well, for tennis uh, fanatics, this is as big as it gets. Going to the Big Apple, watching at a finals weekend of the US Open, not just wheelchair oh, tennis. Not just any weekend, it's the finals. It's the finals weekend, it's the, the last hurrah. The last, last. That's Serena, that's Nadal, that's Djokovic, that's Lucas and that's, uh, that's, that's what's good, that's where we're gonna be seeing? Uh, yes, exactly. What a huge prize. Lucas and Sure. Champ. Put in a if you know that. Nice. SA Open. Quad singles winner, and you beat the number one in the world. Yeah, Gumel. No, I think uh, this was time now to, you know, for this big boy to stay at home now to, you know, to eat uh. pop in place. I think, yeah. Because oh, David Wagner, the number one in the world, beat you in two finals, Go SA Open. Didn't he beat you twice here? No, he beat me um, with Gauteng Open, uh. which was uh, before the SA Open. I lost in the finals. I played pretty bad, <laughs> but my coach wasn't happy. That's what I know. And then I, uh, I thought yeah. he, he beat you in 2013 and also yeah, in 2012. Yeah, he beat me 2013 in the finals. He beat me 2012 12. in the finals. So and what happened this time? Oguti, you now said, Nkatele. I know, Guni Nungshai. No, I'm afraid, like, come on, 20, 20, uh, since I win in 2010, 2011, 12, 13, I Kamala Mali Kola. And then and then this year and then I worked uh, like very hard, you know. I've been putting more work uh, because last year uh, I didn't have much, you know, to, to, to do on court. And then this time me and my coordinator decided to say, as in man, this throw for my stay. And then on the first set I lost. Six three. Was only you go final in that I was already worried with now you're six three down. Asabui. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 No, no, um, I, I, I went there, you know, with full uh, power. I wanted to outbeat him with power, but then David is very smart. You know, mm. he played me like to the corners. He forced me to to do the arrows, you know, to give the points to him. Then on the second set, then I said, no, Yazin, no I'm going to hit it straight to him. So that he can't control it. <laughs> the supporters that came with the airport company and ten wheelchair tennis South Africa encouraging supporters to come with this competition, did it make a difference for you? Oh, yes, it did. A big one. You know, when I was down, I went to the toilet break. That uh. was the longest toilet break I ever took. When I came back, they were singing. Huh. Come on, Lucas, come on, Lucas. Huh. Then I said, okay, these people, they want me to win. What do I want? Why am I on the court at this time? Then I said to myself, yeah, come on, let me play. Then I played my game as my coach taught me, one, two, which you won't understand. <laughs> now, <laughs> the winners, Defense, they're here. The two winners, the people who brought the most amazing outfits who get to go to the US Open in September. 
They're here. They are here. Do you want to call them? Okay, Holger, do you want to call them out, please? Yes, we've got the two guys. They made a lot of noise over the four days of the event. And uh, they're right here with us in studio. Geronimo and Sean. Lopez and Sean van Staden. <laughs> Guys, what is this outfit? What, what, what was the inspiration there? Congratulations, you're going to the USA. <laughs> what was this? What's this? What's this? What's going on? The minions. <laughs> This, what did you guys do when you got there and you went to support the tennis? What did you actually end up there doing? I know you had a special dance, you did things. We did, uh, well, actually, we did quite a lot. At the end of that week, I think we were quite exhausted from all the cheering, but uh, it was really worth it. I mean, we got dressed up in different themes every day. Um, different Batman outfits. Wolverine the first day. Yeah, and then the following day, we dressed up in uh, McEnroe and Agassiz, yeah. followed by the Minions outfit. Why and did we you supported our local players. Why did you want to be there so much? I think it's to, to create, you know, more awareness for wheelchair. You know, we went there with, you know, I was invited by my friend, good friend Jerry, to go play, I mean, to go watch. And we decided, you know what, while we're there, let's make the most of it. Let's have a bit of fun. And, you know, we stood the most of the time. It was just great fun. Yeah. Defense, are you proud of your winners? Very much so, because they play, they um, lived up to the ethos of the competition. They were such a spot to be with. So, it's the USA, guys. <sighs> Come on, baby. Is it a dream come true? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a dream for come sure. True. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all well going to America, New York. I mean, that's so exciting. But yeah. I think for us, the most exciting aspect of it is that we get to travel with the SA players to yeah. the US Open and support them courtside. Can that we bring our uniforms? Lucas, of course. <laughs> what do you say to them? Um, the fits. Because what we need. Uh, they were there every day. Uh. Every time I played, I saw them there, standing there, <laughs> shouting my name. Even. Even Cage's match, they were there. Uh, even the other guys, the overseas guys, they don't even know them, but they were still there, you know, like the whole day. Are you going to the US Open? Uh, at the moment, I still need to work hard to uh, get there, yeah. But if you're there, you got already ready-made support, Ndota. <laughs> now, uh, for the yes, final. Yeah, yeah. So the we support got you, is Lucas, there. Lucas, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got you already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this time, in case I'm going with another soldier, so I'm not there al alone in the world. Mm. See? Final word. I'm going to give it to you, Rifenza. You've got a final word to say to us. Uh, congratulations. A fantastic tournament. The trophy has stayed at home. The supporters yeah. are going to the US. Thank you, Airports Company South Africa. Uh, thanks, Thomas. And to the viewers at home, please support the sport. It is the most amazing sport you can ever watch. Um, and as Airports Company South Africa, we remain committed to supporting disability and disability sports development. Holger? There's one more thing. One? One more thing. What's that? Part of the competition was to send a media person over there and there was a competition and who generates the most interest for the SA Open 2015. There's one person who got over 600 guys to enter this competition during his shows. Uh -huh. Yours truly, Thomas Willambos. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a US Open. <laughs> I've got my bodyguards, I've got Lucas, <laughs> US. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I really I'm appreciate going it. with my hit and You partner. guys actually I'm surprised me. <laughs> I never get surprised <laughs> on my own program. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am absolutely shocked. Thank you very much. What guys. Well, yeah, here we go. Oh, even better. Yeah, even that's better. it. We're together. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. All I'm going to say is thank you very much to the airports company, South Africa. I was simply promoting the competition and making sure that you guys had the support. I really didn't expect that. It's a, it's a massive surprise.